Hi, and welcome to another video here from the windowcleaningstore.com. Today we're going to be talking about the secrets to streak-free window cleaning. Now, it's not enough for me to show you how to clean a window, but showing you why this method is the best will go a long way in ensuring that you get perfect results every time. Now, let's take a look at a technique that doesn't work. And this is a technique we've all used sometime in the past. I know myself, before I was a professional window cleaner, I, this was my go-to method. And that is the blue stuff. We've all seen this stuff, and it doesn't matter if it's that, you know, the major brand name or a knockoff. It's all pretty much the same. The technique for using this to clean the windows is the same. And it really doesn't do a good job. Let's start off by reading the instructions on how to use this product. Spray on and wipe off with a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Okay, so it doesn't really tell you how much to spray on. Are we supposed to be agitating this uh the dirt on the glass with something or do we just do we just spray it on and wipe it off it doesn't really seem like i'm cleaning anything well let's give it a go so i spray the window first thing i notice is that the, the solution is all running down the glass so i reach for my paper towel since i don't have a lint-free cloth handy and I'm supposed to wipe, wipe it off. So I'm assuming it's clean now? I don't know. So let me just wipe away. Well, now it's foaming up a little bit. But my cloth is getting all wet. So I'll fold it over. Wiping some more. This is... This is wet now. I have to grab another sheet. Well, some of it's dried on its own. I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay, I, I mean, it looks a lot better. But I've got these wet paper towels here. Now, the issue with this method is that we don't know if we really agitated all the dirt loosened it up, all we've done is kind of frantically try to wipe up our mess of spraying some liquid on the glass. Now, if you go away and you come back an hour or two later and the sun's shining in a certain way, you're probably going to notice that this window is very, very streaky. And that's the reason why, uh, the reason why is because all we've done really is gotten the window wet and moved solution back and forth across the glass. That includes moving the dirt back and forth across the glass. Have we really removed it? Maybe some of it's in this paper towel, but some of it has dried on this glass. And if you actually look at glass underneath a microscope, it's actually got crevices. It's almost like the Grand Canyon, looking at a magnified view of the Grand Canyon. This solution, as well as the mixed in dirt, has probably gone into a lot of those crevices, which will show up later, like I said, when the sun is shining a certain way. So this is definitely not the method. And it amazes me that millions of bottles of this stuff are sold every year. Well, today we're going to talk about the secrets of getting streak-free window cleaning. It's not here. In fact, it's in some pretty simple tools. The tried and true scrubber and squeegee. Now, you might be thinking, well, what about the solution? Do we still use that blue stuff? Well, no. You probably have something right underneath your kitchen sink right now. I'm sure you all have some kind of form of dish soap. I've got sunlight here. You might have Dawn or palm olive. This stuff works perfectly mixed in some water. And you don't need a whole lot. In fact, if you mix a, 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 put some water into a bucket half full, all it takes is a couple of squirts here. So let's do that now. Now we simply gently mix it around. We don't want it too sudsy. The more suds we have, the more detailing we'll have. And you can feel the water. Now it feels a little slick. So what makes this T-bar scrubber and squeegee the secret to streak-free window cleaning? Well, now that we have our simple mix of water and dish soap prepared, we can use the T-bar scrubber to scrub the entire window. Because we've got this nice microfiber sleeve that goes around the T-bar handle, It'll help to agitate the dirt and work it into the solution. So let's do that now.
So there we have loosened dirt mixed into a solution that now because of that foam is sitting suspended off the glass. And because the dish soap also works as a surfactant, it's hanging on to the surface as opposed to just running down. This gives us time to play with it with the squeegee. Now a squeegee is comprised of a handle, a channel, and a rubber blade. When the rubber blade is new, it has a nice sharp edge along the, the entire width. And having that edge on a 45 degree angle will remove everything off that glass, that, that is the window cleaning solution, as well as all the loosened dirt. And it does it in such a way, similar to how a vacuum cleaner is much better than a broom. With a broom, we're just sweeping dirt, moving it around the room. But with a vacuum cleaner, we're actually removing it off the surface entirely. And that's what we're going to do with the squeegee. Now there's a couple methods you can do. You can do straight pulls across side to side, or straight pulls coming down. This is the basic technique. So we'll start at the top. And we'll go on an angle. You see I brought my top side in a little bit. That's going to bring the water out from that edge. We go across the top and then we straighten out at the end. Because you might be new to window cleaning, I suggest you probably give your rubber just a quick wipe like that. Start dry again. Again we're going to have this tilting towards one side. That'll bring the water downwards like that. If I had the squeegee straight, or on an angle the other way, water might run up here and leave a line. So again, got it tilted that way, and then the final pass. Let's show you the same type of technique, except we're going to do vertical. So we can start from the right hand side, and we'll drop that squeegee angle just a little bit and come all the way down. Then we can overlap that water line, again, bringing that right angle down. Now you may have noticed something I did when I was pulling from the top down. Let's try it one more time and see if you can pick it out. That's right, I did a few little mini pulls to pull the water out from that top edge before coming all the way down. And I'll do the same over here. Now the entire glass is pretty much 100% street free cleaned. There may be a little bit of water around the edge if your technique is good, in which you take a lint free cloth. You can even use paper towel if that's all you have because you're only going to be touching the sides of the glass. And we're going to go straight across the top, down to the bottom, get a nice fresh dry area of your towel, across the side and the bottom. You might also at this time give the frame a little wipe. And there we have it. And I guarantee you, go away, come back in a couple of hours, take a look at your window, doesn't matter where the position of the sun is, this will be a streak-free window cleaning job. Well, thank you for watching our video today. And now that you know the secret to streak-free window cleaning is to entirely remove the dirt and solution off the glass, which is what you can't get with the old spray and wipe solution, you need the professional window cleaning tools. And for all your window cleaning tool needs, please visit thewindowcleaningstore.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.